What's going on guys? Today I got the KF Concept tripod. Here we go. Give you guys a quick overlook. The TM2324 uh, from KF. Uh, I was looking for a tripod for a while, uh, obviously for what we do here. And I didn't want to spend a shit ton of money. I was looking at like Manfrotto. I have the Manfrotto Magic Arm and um, I loved it. I wanted to get Manfrotto tripod, but the one that I was looking at, I can't remember the exact model number, but it was like 350 bucks. And you know, after buying everything else, I'm like, you know what? Let me go a little bit cheaper on the tripod because I'm not going to use it all that much. So I can afford to go with it. And I went with this one, and I'm definitely happy with it, especially for the amount uh, that I actually ended up using it. Um, it came in clutch perfectly for me. You got to look at the pricing for it because they range anywhere from like a uh, normal price from $89, like $80, all the way up to like $120. Um, and again, that depends on like all the different shit that you can add to it. So they just came out with a carbon edition one, which is like 140 bucks, so it's supposed to be even lighter. This thing's only three pounds, so weight is definitely not uh, an issue for this tripod. Um, right now, the way it's set up, it's ready to go. It's ready. You pull the legs out, and you could shoot. But if you pull these tabs down, so these are all magnesium uh, alloy, uh, magnesium aluminum alloy. So the legs, uh, all the clamps and all that stuff, the neck, the ball head, everything. The only thing is, uh, this piece it didn't come with it. Uh, it came with uh, this piece, but we'll get into that in a minute. Um, so yeah, so these things you just pull up the tab here and you flip the leg all the way up Do that on all the pieces And then this part I actually did that first but This part turns here at the neck So you slide this all the way up fold the legs in and Now you're ready to go. So it's got your little neoprene grip handle here which is nice so you know you get a better grip on it and then also when it's cold outside you're not just touching the aluminum bar and freezing your hands off so i like the little touches that come with this thing so when you're ready to go you flip it out the legs lock so we'll lock it at the highest setting one two three three clicks so now this is ready to shoot how it is like this so uh you can leave this mount completely up uh, if you do that and extend the legs all the way, it comes out to 62 inches. Um, so you just pull this thing. The legs, the clips here are plastic. Not a huge deal. Um, everything else is metal on it. This is the only plastic thing on it. But I haven't had any issues with it. They hold on tight. You can push down fucking hard on this. And then you don't have to worry about it pulling in. Uh, I mean, I'm pulling pretty fucking hard and they're not budging at all. So just slide that in nice and easy. It's got the rubber bottom, which is great. Put it on concrete, tile, all that shit. Doesn't, you don't have to worry about it sliding around and whatnot, um, which is super nice. So what I do is I just turn this, put this ball head all the way down. So I shoot like this. It gives it a little bit more sturdiness to it. Um, overall, I mean, this height right here is, uh, this is the standard height. So it's all the clips all the way down. So the standard height is 21.7 inches. And then once you lower it to the, technically the highest standard, which would be the first clip. So when it's all the way out like this, um, you're going to be at 16 inches. So the, these legs all the way out. And then this is the quote unquote standard height. So 21 inches for that. So like I said, all the way up, it's uh, 62 inches, which is great. And then when it's completely folded up for storage, it's 18 inches. So definitely... Um, easy to go, easy to travel with. You're not gonna have any issues with it. Like I said, it's only three pounds. You know, everything is in addition to it. You carry your bag and everything. You have, you know, your lenses, your camera. You know, everything obviously weighs something and the more shit you carry with you, it's gonna be more expensive, more uh, weight wise. So, you know, this being three pounds is the lightest travel tripod in the world, no. But it's better than some of the other ones that are five, six, seven pounds because it does all add up. If you're not really traveling like that, weight is not really that concern to you. I would still get this, even though it is the lightweight travel tripod and whatnot. But um, don't worry about that. Um, it's plenty sturdy, extended all the way out. I'm not nervous having 
my DSLR camera on there. I'm running a Canon 80D with an L-series lens and a shotgun mic and whatever other bullshit attachments I put onto it. And I'm not worried about that camera. Pretty much any DSLR you throw on there, you're going to be fine. Um, it has a 22-pound capacity. Listen, I don't look at those numbers because if you could afford to buy a 22-pound camera, you're looking at like, you know, a Canon C300 or an Aerie Alexa, something like that, and you have the money to buy a better tripod. You're not buying this. You're not even looking at this. So don't worry about the 22-pound capacity. And if you're pushing the limits with that, look somewhere else. Um, like I said, I'm not ever worried about the sturdiness of this. It's reliable. The legs don't feel cheap on it at all. I had, I actually upgraded from a completely plastic tripod. I got on Amazon for like 15 bucks or something like that. And that thing was just a hunk of shit. It needed to go right in the garbage. I had that extended with my camera on it. And if I walked more than a half a step away from it, I was too nervous to leave it just sitting there. So this is a beautiful upgrade to that. And I could definitely recommend this. So now let's get into the um, ball head. Again, forget this top piece. Uh, we'll get into that. But you have your panning. And you have this dial here, the smaller one, controls um, exactly how much spin you get out of it. So basically the tension that's on it. So if you loosen up all the way, it's going to spin a lot quicker. You tighten it up all the way and it won't, it barely moves at all or it's significantly harder to move. So yeah, if you, I have it now it's tightened up all the way and it's locked in. So this knob right here, the bigger one, is for the actual ball head itself. So... You know, it's not made for video. I shoot video on it, but it's pretty much just stand shots. But you get a little pan on it, which is fine. And then you also could do uh, the top-down um, shot. So I use this for that, which is excellent. It works. If you guys watch any of these videos on this channel before and you see any type of top-down shot, that's the position that the camera's in. So let's get into the um, ball head now because I actually swapped out. This is the original one that comes with it. So you can see you got the um, ball leveler in it, which is fucking fantastic. And then you have this knob, which pulls out the clamp feature of it to pull out the actual mount. This, so this is the part that goes into the camera. You have your screw here, and it works. Um, my thing was, so you have this part goes screws into the tripod itself. Like I said, it works. I love the ball leveler in it, and as it comes, it will work fine. Um, my thing is I changed it out because I didn't want to run anything plastic and with this particular mount if you put the um, So imagine your cameras on here. So this is gonna sit in here like that, and then you're gonna tighten it up Okay, so once you have it set like that, it's not going anywhere. You're fine. You never have to worry about it My thing was that I wanted to hear like a click I wanted to feel like it was locking into something and you're not getting that with this so if you actually are paying attention and you sit there and you had this sitting on the tripod and you're looking at it and you put it in and it sits like that and you tighten it up you're fine you have nothing to worry about um, I never do that and again it may sound stupid but that quick second or half a second that I got to look down and make sure that it's lined up to tighten it up I, I don't want to trust it. I want to throw it on and, you know, hear it click in. I know I'm locked in and ready to go. So I got rid of this. Very simply, I put a Manfro uh, I'm sorry, Manfrotto. This is the 323 RC2 mount. So this is all metal. Uh, I believe it's aluminum, but it has the um, a nice big flap on here to lock the camera mount in. So here's a mount that comes with it so this whole kit is $35 on Amazon um, so you have your screw so on the back there's no slot or screwdriver that you could do but I don't have any issue tightening this into the camera uh, by hand and this piece is all metal as well so now this piece will go in and so you have your camera mounted you put this in and so you see you have a front groove and the back groove See if you guys get a little better shot of that. And this is going to go, you have your rubber piece here. Sorry, I'm jumping around a little bit, but you have, this is like a rubber textured uh, piece to go into the camera. And this is going to go in and it snaps in. And then you also have on the back here, this little brass fitting, a lock. That camera is not going anywhere. You could 
pull your fucking truck with this thing, it's not going anywhere. You want to release it, flap the brass, brass piece back over, pull that, and the camera comes right out. Obviously, you got to make sure you hold it because it will actually shoot this out. This piece right here is spring-loaded, so it will shoot the camera out. That's the gist of everything. Um, I purchased this on Amazon.com. Um, I actually got it for, in total, with shipping, tax, everything out the door, it was 74 bucks. So they actually had a promo code, like a $10 off coupon. Everybody does it. Just If you're looking for this uh, tripod, look around, wait for the normal sales times, and you will find coupons for it. They always go on sale. They always have coupons for it. If you go on uh, k &F Concepts website directly, right now at the time of shooting this video, it is on sale for $68. So obviously tax and shipping on top of that. And I think Amazon, it was like 80, 80 something dollars, something like that. Somewhere along the, the ballpark of $80. You're going to get this mount. It's okay. Um, but if you wanted to get the tripod, how it's set up, it'll work. It's fine. If you want a little bit more security and a little more durability, get the uh, Manfrotto. Uh, I have all the pieces uh, in the comment section so you guys can, uh, you know, search it and all that bullshit. And, uh, yeah, so check it out. If you guys liked it um go and buy it it's a good fucking tripod so that's all i got for you guys please hit that like button comment down below if you have this or let me know what other tripods you're using and uh, maybe we'll take a look at those too thank you guys for watching take care